Now this particular format of slide is known as an energy slide and in the CMS you create an energy slide by assigning a meter reading. The meter readings are actually plotted out or charted out in two areas. This will give you the accumulated data values for today and that's the consumption in kilowatt hours and then over on the right you'll have the accumulative total of gas and heat used over a year. The blue line here actually indicates a target that is set and you can see in this particular case that the charted readings the consumption of gas and heat kilowatt hours is in excess of the actual target value for the month so it's here a large portion of the red chart is showing and the third element of the slide is the comments or annotation that's put onto the slide and this is actually put on the meter reading form in the CMS. Now having described that slide I'm now logged into the CMS and I'm on the index uh, CMS landing page so if I work my way to the slides by going to the information area first of all and then into slides now that particular slide that we were looking at earlier is this one remember the slide title showing was gas and heat and there's the units and the actual values that we're showing on those um, charts, particularly the one for today, you would see minimum values between 0 and 100, and then upper values indicated in red. Here is a minimum and maximum. Those targets that you could see plotted over the year January through to December plotted in blue these are the values that are put in here manually like these and you can define the axes for the dial that's the reading for today consumption in kilowatt hours and then the y-axis of the chart plotting the year consumption in kilowatt hours again so there's a plotting for the y-axis you remember that on that particular slide there was some annotation or some comments text and it's literally added in here so you can literally type comments in this area and format them so if I wanted the average person in bold, I use the WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get editor here. The other elements of this particular form, the duration that the slide will appear, 20 seconds. <coughs> and the building, particular building that it will appear in. Now as it happens you can only apply a meter reading to one of the buildings. So there's a selection of buildings here but you can only assign it to one. Now those are the features that you would have to edit. For example slide title, the parameters, 
maximum minimum values of the gauge chart target values for the year and the actual units shown as labels and the annotation the other feature important feature of this particular form is the register ID and these are the meter readings or meter labels that we're actually reading the values from now they are supplied from the metering database that's on Aston University Network and the values for the meters shown on this drop down list here are uploaded every 30 minutes now importantly I need to recognize what the register ID of that meter that comes from the data file and once I select that the actual values are tied to the particular slide so those charted will actually come from the data values that's imported into the EDS so when you put these values together and you click update that will create that particular slide 